The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. That's the classic line from New Line Cinema's 2003 holiday classic Elf and its 2010 theatrical adaptation, which is this year's musical at Burlington High School. As a big fan of Elf, I made my way down to the Fogelberg Performing Arts Center during rehearsals to learn more about this festive production. If this is the first year we're doing the musical in the fall. A lot of really crazy reasons when in discussion and feedback from parents and students, we made the decision, let's try this year, let's try the musical in the fall. And so we thought, okay, what's a good show to do in the fall? And it did open up an opportunity to do some kind of holiday-themed show, which is not something we can usually do in April. Actually, I think we're one of the first high schools to get the rights in the country. In fact, they didn't even have the scripts printed. We were, we were waiting and waiting, and we started auditions and rehearsals. They actually had to send us electronic copies because the printer, their publisher, was so uh, back order. So that's how new and fresh and exciting it was. Really excited to, to, uh, to bring this show to life here in Burlington. It's been an interesting transition for us because usually our musicals are in the spring. Mm -hmm. So it was an adjustment for all of us to sort of work around all schedules and stuff. But no, we're pulling it together. We've got a couple weeks, two weeks from tonight actually. And it's really been great. Tickets are doing well and the word's getting out, so. I got a chance to speak to members of the cast who explained what inspired them to bring these beloved holiday characters to life. I don't know, I just liked his energy and the, part, the fun of the part. Growing up, I always watched Elf on Christmas, and I just loved the role of Jovi because um, she always says she doesn't sing, but in reality, she's such a good singer. And as a child, I always loved singing, so I just love watching the movie and getting to see her sing. I just in the movie, the Elf is the same thing. I just love this wholesome character and just his love for Christmas. I love Christmas and like how nice he is and stuff like that. There are a lot of students hard at work behind the scenes as well, like Katie Serbian, the first student choreographer for a BHS production. It's really fun. I've been able to work with such great people, and I love everyone in the cast. Everyone's so great and so positive, so it's a really great show. But yeah, the dances are really coming together. Everything's coming together. It's going to be a really great show. You should definitely come see it. As opening night approaches, the cast and crew hope Elf the Musical invigorates audiences with the spirit of the season, the season of believing. It's about, you know, people accept, acceptance of other people, um, family, the importance of um, being able to just believe. It's all about believing. Whether you believe in Santa or whether you're whatever religion doesn't play into it, I believe it's something that's a human spirit that believing in something special, that the magic in child's eyes, the innocence and and I really think that that's something that everybody can connect to. Elf the Musical opens on Friday, December 6th, with additional performances December 7th and 13th through the 15th. Tickets are on sale now. Until next time, this is Chris Flaherty for B News Weekly, wishing you a happy holidays. <laughs>